Hello there, welcome back to my vlog. And if you're new, my name is Linda. I am Norwegian but live in Spain. I am a teacher and I love to crochet. Right now I am working on uh, two t-shirts. One for myself, which is this one. And then I have the other panel also done. And I have a third panel done for a, a um, t-shirt for my friend. Behind me is the pool and then Juan Girola and the Mediterranean Sea. As I've been saying in another video, um, I'm going to rent out my house. I'm taking pictures and making video and putting it on Facebook. And then I wanted to put it on Airbnb and everything. And I had a, had a help from, a, from an advisor, an official, but then the funniest thing happened <laughs> I don't know where my mind is I don't know where my preparation skills are I'm just going along as I do with my crochet projects I, I'm just winging it <laughs> so my advisor last week uh, the same day as I put out my um, my video and my uh, photos on Facebook she told me I can, you, uh, you can you can go ahead and you can try if you can do the Airbnb because I'd gotten the code and everything but first please uh, make sure that you're asking your um, your community here with this, these houses that it's allowed to rent out vacational homes for tourists because it would cost 150 euros to apply for it that it's legal and everything and it was better if I could ask the community itself if it's allowed or not and that was on Tuesday or, or Wednesday that I put put it up on Facebook and then I, I, I phoned them first and they couldn't give me an answer on the phone so they would call me back they didn't the same day the next day either neither no I called them again and then then the answer was no it's not allowed and I'm what seriously I had already booked uh, a friend of mine well two two girls that are kind of my sisters <laughs> um, I during two three years when I was studying for being a teacher I was at their house practically every day for at least two of those years and uh, so they're really good friends of mine and uh, so they want to come with their families so they're coming and then of course but I can't put it up put it up on my Airbnb and these things so I'm not going to be renting it out as I wanted so I have been uh, I have been buying a lot of beddings and everything new pillows a lot of towels and uh, arranging that my uh, my washing machine is out of the the space where I can store a thing, the storage room. I've done all of these practical things. Some of them are good and anyhow, and I've been able to throw away a lot of, lot of junk so that I don't need anymore. So it's, it has been good, but all of that work and kind of for nothing. Um, anyhow, those two families will come. They um, are going to rent it together one week. And, uh, but then again, I have also, um, I don't want to do anything illegal. I mean, like uh, uh, putting it up and uh, uh, have other families that I don't know coming here and stuff. But of course, my friends is another thing. So, uh, and right now I have family living here, a family from Brazil that just came back from Brazil. They were there for almost a year. And then they came back. I knew them from before when they lived here. Uh, very good family. And uh, they didn't have a place to stay now. So they're staying here. And um, so now the plan is that they will just stay here until that family comes. And uh, if um, they haven't got, gotten a place, because it's so really, really difficult to find a place right now uh, before summertime, because it's such a tourist, uh, tourist place, this place. So, and oh, another thing is <laughs> about that that it's not allowed to rent uh, out for tourists. I 
remembered during the Friday when I got to know, I remembered that I actually was attending the meeting where that was decided. I guess it's like four, four maybe five years ago that that was decided. And I remember, it kind of came to me more and more and I remember that I was thinking, oh wow, isn't it allowed anymore? That's too bad. Well, of course, if I have visitors, my friends and everything, they can come, of course. Uh, but I, of course, I, I wasn't thinking about renting out. That was not never in my plans. Just now that I thought I was going to stay in Oro for six weeks, it would be no good to have somebody here. But, well, I still will have somebody here. J they just will be renting for the whole month. Now they're just staying here for free, of course. I don't, I don't want to charge them. And they're not going to be paying the tourist, uh, the tourist um, amount, the tourist, um, how it costs. Because it's quadru it quadruples in the summer season. So you pay the same as you, the same, uh, the same you pay for one month, you pay for one week. That is the main um, thing for renting here, more or less that. But well, that's what it's going to be. I feel kind of uh, foolish, kind of uh, a bit embarrassed that I didn't check it before, or that, that I, I didn't remember, and I didn't even think of asking about that. I didn't even think that it was a possibility that it wasn't allowed, because I, I felt like uh, the apartments around here do that. But I guess it's just that before they did. And then we have had the, the pandemic, so things have changed. Uh, and then there weren't that many people here anyhow. Well, it is what it is. I'm not very good at talking the same time as I am crocheting. At least not when it's not the regular stitch because I was on the last round, so I'm not going to be doing clusters. I'm just going to do one round of just double crochet, like I've done here. So I have to frog this entire side. It's just one side, so it's okay. It's not a big deal, <laughs> but it's so typical of me. I've now finished the t-shirt. It is done. I find the length to be good. It's a good length. Um, the sleeves are short. I wanted them short. They feel quite airy and maybe that is a good thing. I thought maybe I wanted them a bit narrower but since they're airy and it's warm here in this country I guess this is okay. Um, the only thing I'm not too happy about is the front. Since I only have two squares white squares I find find that it's too much green it should have been one more I should have made one more um, square white square because of this that is this, an extra small and I have a small on this it's okay that it's just one square inside and one outside but for this big one I should have had one more outside this so when I'm going to continue my friend's t-shirt I am going to frog some of um, her, uh, well, from some of the front panel or the back panel. Well, I've done one panel. I have to frog some of it, and uh, then now I've started the second panel, and I will add one more square. So we'll see if that will be much nicer than this. Of course, hers is not that big. It's it's not um, hers not as big as mine but it is much bigger than uh, the extra small, so I think it will be better to add an extra square. This is how far I got on my friend's t-shirt. I'd made this, but I have frogged it now because I found out that it was too much green on mine for this section. So I frogged it until here, and then I did the, the white there, and then, uh, then the green again, and then the white. And I'm going to continue uh, two rounds rounds of white. This is this one and then I found out that I have to do this quite a lot bigger because she's really tall and she wants it 80 centimeters uh, in the length and 62 in the width 
So I'm going to measure it now and see how it is. Actually, I have already measured it, but I feel like I want to measure it again. Just to be safe, uh, it is not 62. It is, let's see, I do a bit like this because it stretches and it stretches well. So this is now 60, 59, 60. But if I stretch it, I can go up into 70. So since it's so stretchy, that's okay that it's not 62 when it lays flat. The same with the length. It is now 77, 78. And if I stretch it, it can go up until, I guess, 90 or so. So I think this is good. So I will leave it like as is this one and I will just continue this so it um, becomes the same as this panel. Like the size he thinks is just adorable. Which one? I'm just here <clears throat> crocheting on my friend's t-shirt whilst watching uh, my new friend April from Ohio. She is uh, new on YouTube but she is not new to crocheting. She has been in business for 12 years first two years of uh, doing markets and then 10 years on Etsy and her niche is her amazing hats she does uh, she does um, really artistic hats they're pieces of art she does like uh, spider-man hats like uh, a car hat like the Lightning McQueen is that the name I'm not sure but like that she makes uh, different animals like uh, a dog or a cat or whatever animal whatever you want animal or whatever you want hat she makes um, and um, apart from that that being her niche she also does um, plushies and she does embroidered eyes instead of the plastic uh, pop-ons so uh and they're, they're really really cute those eyes so if you want to learn how to do that i think she's doing a tutorial because she's done just in this her fourth video she's been uh or fifth maybe she has uh showed a lot of these embroidered eyes that are really really cute and when she um she asks the people her um, followers if they want her to show how she does it and then in the comments, they want to know how. So if you want to do that, I guess she's doing a tutorial soon. And uh, be, be sure to follow her if that's what something you would like to say, see. And uh, of course, to watching her hats as well, because they're really, really adorable. She's also on Instagram and TikTok, so you can follow her there with the same name. Did I tell you? Yeah, I think so. Her name is April, but her... her um, her name that she uses is the Cozy Buck Eye. Maybe I didn't say that. Oh, the Cozy Buck Eye. That is all of the platforms she uses the same. That's her business name. She's a small business. Yeah, oops. It's happened here. Now I'm just going to continue crocheting. <clears throat> Watching her. Guys, like which size do you prefer? Or do you like? connecting the two panels I've done the top um, on the shoulders and I want, I'm working on one of the sides but I have decided that I will not be finishing this sweater or this t-shirt during this video because I want to upload it today and then I have to be done already <laughs> because I also have to do some preparations for school but, well, so I'm just going to um, finish this up here and I'll show you how it looks like right now. It's quite long, of course, because her, her, my friend is really long. She was really tall. And um, yeah, 
So in this video, I've made this car, uh, this T-shirt, and then this is this the second, and I did some alterations with the white yarn. So the square, I got added another square on in the front and in the back, and I added also some stripes on the bottom. Okay, here is uh, how far I've gotten. I have then did the two sides and the neckline. So the only thing that's left now is for me to do the sleeves. So, um, and then of course weaving in the ends. So here I've got all my selection, my own one. The two extra small, the small, and this is an extra large, and this is extra, extra large. So yeah, I think it turned out quite well. It's, I think it's better than mine for speaking about the squares that it's more it's a bit more busy but not not busy busy but it's it's more um, it, it balanced between the white and the green so I'm really happy about it this time so um, yes that will be all for now in this video but uh, next time I will uh, take you to the store to buy some yarn and I will show you the beginning of my cardigan for the old lady and maybe I'll finish it. I don't know, who knows, but I guess I will be finishing the green one. So thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!